This will be a tutorial on how to use um, Z index and make divs overlap. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is um, create a notepad plus plus file because it lets you choose if you want to save it in HTML, which we do. So now um, I'm going to do the standard um, HTML layout. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which it is. And um, now we need the title tag. And let's call the, um, what should it be called? Well, it's about um, Z index. So let's call it Z index. Z index. And um, now we, need, we definitely need a style for this. I know what. I'm going to do we have to have a style or else this we can't do it without a style so we need a body now in the body we want the two divs div one so let's create this div ID div one and um another div nothing inside it well we will add stuff inside it later and let's just make another div and call it ID um you've got it div2 yep now close the div and i just noticed we need to close this yep and now we just close the body tag and um we close the html so now we save it as a html file so now um let's call it z index and save it on desktop and now if we, we run this um, there's nothing in it because the, the divs don't have anything inside it so if we go back to this and um, we go to style see we have to have style and um, let's div one um, let's do um, okay um we are uh, uh um, oh, oh yeah okay so um we set the width to 200 pixels we set the height to 200 pixels and we um, make the background color to red red and um position Abs, uh, how do you spell that? Uh, oh, it doesn't, it has absolute there. Now we need the, which, okay, I'm going to leave it right there and um, copy this. So, and change this to div2 and um, make the color, what color, green? So now, um, which one do we want on top? Which div do we want on top overlapping the other div let's say red because i like red more so um if we want red to be on top we set um a z index of red higher than a z index of div 2 which is green so let's say set the z index here to 1 and the z index here to 2 because there's no there's no um point making it a trillion two is bigger and it's simpler so z index two and now if we look wait the first thing i'm going to do is just um, remove the, the z and indexes control x and just backspace this um if we reload this load what's wrong uh Oh, because the position is absolute. Okay, if we get rid of this and now run it, we get these two. Red's on top because we declared it first, div1. Now, if we want um, red to overlap a little, so we just do the things. If we just add um, z index um, 2 and z index 1 to this, this is what happens. Ta da! Nothing. Because we didn't set the position to absolute. So um, we um, set the position to absolute. You can just do position ab uh, whatever absolute, 
and um, control shift there, there, there. Control C, down, 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 and down, down, end, enter, control V. Now, now, if we run it, see the red is completely on top. We can't see any of the green. So, what we do right now is um, we can give it the give it a margin of maybe margin maybe maybe no margin left and top margin left 100 pixels margin right margin top actually 100 pixels so the corner will be in the center oops i don't know what i did whatever i swapped swapped the order see now the red is overlapping the green div by this much now we can add a third div um div three here and now we name it div three and we just copy this whole thing i want div three to be on the top of both so i set the z index to three the color to blue maybe whatever it doesn't matter and um okay now we need to set the margins so margin margin um left i haven't done any preparation before so but i'm just guessing margin margin left 150 pixels and a margin top zero don't then we don't need a margin top now um i don't know how this is going to look but i plan the blue to be here overlapping both see yes overlapping both Actually, we should add a margin top a bit. Um, let's add it, and if we can change the height to 100, height to 300, and you no know, 200, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Margin top, and we want that to be maybe 50 pixels. Now, look, if we do this. It does this so we made these overlap that's pretty cool right you just using one line of code z index we can make them overlap now um what i'm gonna do is um okay now comes the fun part we well you probably already know how to do it um this is just for fun how about let's do the whole thing but add text between the divs how cool is that I'm just oh I, oh that's good because I was reading this article and I'm I can just control A control C because this was not on purpose this was not deliberate and I can just paste all this code here I mean all this stuff here Okay that's a bit too much Okay Still too much, sorry about this. Okay, that's enough. Now we just copy this, control C. Now then in div two, we do P and then control V. And then in three, we do P and then V, control V, I mean. And then now, um, what we have to do is, we don't need these any, we just need the width. We don't need the height anymore, we just need the width and we don't need the background color. And we don't need the background color green. We don't need the background color red. Now if we save this, ooh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yep, yeah, see, look, it overlaps. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So subscribe for daily videos. I'm just going to go back to how it was before. Okay, whatever. So subscribe for daily videos.